You know, this week we've had a great time introducing you to some incredible business women who have found a way to balance owning their own company and being a mom. Yeah, that's a delicate thing. And in our final installment of our Focus on Mompreneurs, and I News Business reporter Greg Moss introduces us to a woman who came to this country less than a decade ago, but carried with her traditions from many generations past. Asuka Baker, how can I help you? Meet Marjorie Silva. Oh, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo está? A busy mom of two with a mompreneur spirit. I came to this country eight years ago with the dream of opening my own bakery, doing wedding cake, birthday cakes, and Peruvian pastries. Peruvian desserts. Uh, yeah. We make really good flan. Marjorie started baking cakes in her native Peru, then came to America where she has continued chasing her passion. So a lot of our opportunities, we have to work really, really hard. A little bit of piping around. She took a business class. After, you know, I took that class and I wrote my business plan, I knew that I wasn't ready. So it took me, you know, two more years to get this story going on. Okay. And when she finally got her loan approved, she also found out that she was pregnant. Her first thought was to put the business on hold, but after a lot of thinking, she decided to be both a mom and an entrepreneur. It was kind of hard. You know, with big belly last summer and wedding cakes. <laughs> but it was great. It was great and business going good. Owning a business, she says, takes a lot of dedication. You really need to like what you're doing. That's for sure. Because there's a lot of uh, hard work involved in having your own business. The first uh, five years, they say that they're the hardest years. But, you know, after that, then it just, everything starts going smooth. Business planning aside, after it's all said and done? Yeah, decorating is my favorite part, of course. This is a piece of cake for me. <laughs> On the business beat, Greg Moss, 9 News. Man, those are beautiful cakes, i got to say. No magic formula for making sure that you'll be a successful mompreneur, but Lisa Druxman with Entrepreneur Magazine recommends that you have a plan first. We have lots of resources at 9news.com on the 4 o'clock page that will help you with that. And once you're up and running, she recommends that you get and stay organized. Your work time will be precious and not as dependable as it was if you worked in a traditional office. And stay focused. One of the hardest things for work-at-home moms is getting sidetracked with kids and laundry and everything mm -hmm. else, phone calls. And finally, get help from your partner. You both need to remember that you're juggling two full-time jobs because being a mom, that is a real chore. Hey. That could keep you busy well, at all. Well, I applaud her taking that business class and saying, you know, I'm not ready. When she, you know, and then right. she waited a couple of years until she was ready. And she's That's an artist, great. isn't she? Those cakes were killer. I'm hungry. So am I now. I need a piece of cake. <laughs> good. Let them eat cake. <laughs>